let's play a game. Can you tell me about your first shoe? What? Your first shoe. Day, this is a legal channel. <laughs> I was watching this flower on the tree. My first shoe. Uh. Mm. See, uh, when I was a young lawyer, I used to carry two big black bags and I used to have pain in the shoulders and in the feet. And after many visits to the doctor, I realized that I was using ill-fitting shoes. And of course, I went out and uh, I started buying different shoes. I love shoes. I was in the army and the first thing that they teach you in the army is to look after your shoes because if your shoes are comfortable you can walk very far which is what soldiers do they are forever traipsing all over the country in different conditions sometimes in bogs sometimes on the road sometimes on the parade square and we are different shoes for all of that so looking after shoes came naturally to me and eventually I found a particular brand of shoe was the one that best suited my feet as you know, I'm not very tall and my feet are broad. And I walked into this shop and I saw the price at the first available shoe that hit my eyes and I turned around and went up. And uh, my wife asked me, what happened? I said, it's a thousand five hundred ringgit. This was back in 1993. I had a very busy practice and there was a lot of pain in the feet. And so she said, you have arch feet. And if you can spend 1,500 ringgit to release the pain, why not? Okay, then I went back inside and with a great deal of reluctance, I bought that shoe in 1993. And then to my dismay, I discovered that the bottom portion is made of leather. Because Malaysia is a wet country, the bottom of the shoes gets worn out very fast. So I changed plastic covers for that. And would you like to know what is the name of the brand? Those guys are not paying me, by the way. Huh? The name of the brand was Ferragamo. And ever since then, I've been using Ferragamo shoes. They are not cheap. They are pretty expensive. At that time, it was a sort of salary that a new lawyer would be getting, about 1,500. Then it became 1,800, then 2,200, then 3,000 ringgit. But the shoe that I bought in 1993, I still wear to this day. I don't have it on today. I'll show you how it looks like. All battered and bruised, but very much alive and kicking. And I absolutely love it. When I go for long drives, I still take out the shoe and I use it. How many years has it been? 27 years? I still use it. Sometimes to court. I have another Ferragamo shoe I bought when I went to London. And that is at the verge of falling to bits, but I still shine it, put kiwi on it, and it is still there, and I'll show it to you. Probably this is how it looks. And then about 10 years ago, I chanced upon a shop in Oxford Street, Russell and Bromley, and there, at one-third the cost of a Ferragamo shoe, I found a pair of simple shoes and I bought them and they are the most comfortable shoes I've ever worn. So as between Ferragamo and Russell and Bromley, same level of comfort, but particular models of Russell and Bromley are very, very comfortable. And it's very rude to take out my shoe now and show it to you because in our culture in Malaysia, you never show your shoe to a person because it's the lowest part of the body, it considered an insult. But if you ask me, all the pain in the lower half of the feet went away for the last 25 years. I'm a very happy man. And then I discovered one guy up there on Bangsa Hill, a local shoe seller. I forget his name. I'll try and discover it and put it up here. Who was producing the same quality of shoes as Ferragamo at one fourth the price. And the quality of the leather was also very good. And I used to go to that shop as well. So that is what I wanted to 
speak about shoes. Since Samad ambushed me into talking about shoes, we are supposed to be speaking about really serious issues. And my director of photography thinks shoes are very important. But anyway, there it is. So, if you like this video, subscribe if you haven't already. Press the notification button. Press like if you like this video. And let us have your comments about other things. So until I see you again, goodbye.